everybody. Happy Self-Discovery Saturday. I had to start this over. That's not the word I wanted to use, but I completely forgot what word I wanted to use this crisp Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm up and out of the house before 9.30. I am on my way to pick up a coffee table and two end tables. And then I'm going over to the condo and wait for a guy to deliver a living room set for me. And I think on the way back, I'm going to stop by this um, salvage liquid liquidation furniture place. They usually have rugs pretty inexpensively. Or I might just go to Ollie's. They usually have them even cheaper. And get two rugs to go in the living room and underneath the dining room table. Um, I, I'm in the process of renovating the rental property I have, my condo, and um, actually my son is living there. But he is paying rent, so yeah. So the last thing we have is the bathroom and the guy starts um, weekend after next to complete the bathroom, finish that up. But in the process, we hadn't really done any decorating because they were painting walls and putting in cabinets and all this kind of stuff, so it didn't make sense. So now that all the carpet's down and all that, I'm trying to do some um, preventive maintenance so that they don't mess my carpet up since it's brand new. And my grandkids come over there. And I'm not sure how this furniture gonna do because it's beige, but it's the type that you can take the covers off and wash them. So that in itself is a blessing and I'm getting it pretty inexpensively. So if I have to replace it, you know, it's okay. I was looking for leather, but this is a deal that I just cannot pass up. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to today. And I'm, I'm a little hungry. All I had was my tea this morning. I know y'all hate my taping. It's horrible. But I was looking in the chat. You guys are so funny in the chat. You be cracking me up. It's like my little laugh for the day if I hadn't had one. You guys are so witty. But um, one of the ladies was saying that um, our girl, Vanessa, had told her guests that she loved them. I didn't see that. Um, it could have been in a video that I haven't watched. I did check out the drone one last night. That thing was... a she kills me with the lion. I mean, she just lies about any and everything. Um, so I checked out the newest one she got, talking about the homestead and the chicken coop. But this is pretty much the same as the other one. It's funny because I'm sure her subscribers are going into withdrawals because they are so used to her being live for six, seven, eight hours a day. And now that she got friends, she done dropped them subscribers. She hardly talked to them. She ain't even begging them. They ought to be happy. They keep the money in their pocket. But I'm, I'm, you know, when you go to someone else's house, you leave your bad habits at your house. At least I hope so. So she gets up, and of course she's hungry. Her stomach is scratching her back. And she's talking about some chicken they got from Aldi's. I go to Aldi's, but I've never seen them have fried chicken, but... I don't know. Maybe our Aldi's is different. But anyway, they got chicken from there. So, she says she's going to have that for breakfast. Now, the chicken is in a Ziploc bag. So, instead of her taking a fork or some tongs, you know, to take the chicken out. Because it's not just her chicken. The friend bought the chicken. So, that means she was eating chicken too. She just sticks her hands into the bag, pulls herself out. She was gonna take all of the big pieces and then I guess she thought about maybe she shouldn't because it ain't her damn chicken. But she takes a piece out, puts it on her plate, then takes it when she changes her mind and puts it back in the bag. So now you touching all the chicken that somebody else is gonna eat, ma'am. And we know that you are not the cleanest person. Who's to say she washed her hands since she got up and everything? I don't know. 
But my thing is, you don't do that. Especially at somebody else's house. Now, if you're at home and it's just you, it ain't, it's you. You're eating your own germs. But at somebody else's house, then there's a greasy skillet sitting there. And she says that that was from her making the carnivore burgers for them. Ma'am, you don't leave the greasy skillet in somebody else's kitchen like that like you do at your place. Because we know in that shed, you'll leave that skillet sitting there with grease in it. And you will turn right around the next day and put some hamburgers in there and bacon and cook it on the old grease that was sitting there all night. But you don't do that at somebody else's house. So she did go ahead and wash it up, but it was from the day before. I hope it was just from the day before. You know, I'm like, come on now. Then she says she's going to take a, a shower. I did not know that when she took the bath, that was her host master bathroom. So not only did you go take a bath and stay in there forever, it was in her bathroom. I would never do that. I just wouldn't get a bath. Or she could have took a bath in the little bathtub because this morning she took a shower in the bathroom that's by her room, which is the guest bathroom. But you took a bath in the guest master bath. I mean, this woman never ceased to amaze me. I was trying to think... Whose house would I go to and do that to? About the only people I would do that to is like my mom or my sisters. I probably wouldn't even do that at my brother's house because he's married. And I probably only do it at one sister's house because the other one's married. I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but the funniest thing is she goes out there and of course, you know, Vanessa knows all. So she's going to go out there and try to tell them how to build a chicken coop. But she goes in. But well, this is what kills me. First you get up. Of course, we don't see her do any hygiene stuff. You put your hands all over the chicken. You go outside, see what they're doing. Then you decide you want to go get it in the van and start cleaning it up. Why is your van dirty? You did a whole video on cleaning up the van before you got on the road. And all you did was leave Courtside and go to Pahrump and whatever little town your friend is in. So how did it get so dirty? Though she pulled out um the juice containers and oreo cookies and water bottles and all this shit from the front seat but i'm trying to figure out you didn't clean the back out you didn't clean it out worth the shit you just got your ass in the van and went to your friend's house and now that you have gotten so much more stuff from shopping and still wanting to go shopping she's probably not going to go anywhere unless she goes with her friend in her van. I bet you when they go to the BML land or whatever it is, or they go to Vegas because she's saying she might go to Vegas for Thanksgiving or whatever the case may be, I bet you she rides with her friend. She's going to leave her little mystery van sitting right there. It's like she's going to kick their body to the curb. The mystery van ain't good enough no more. The subs ain't good enough no more because she got friends now. So I'm just like, ooh, we. She just putting all y'all to the side. So she goes in the house to take a shower. But when she comes out, how you took a shower and you still got paint on your thigh? This big old uh, mark that looks like she had been painting something or, you know, rubbed up against something that was white. I'm like, did you wash? Or was that there? And you didn't wash it off, or did you pick it up after you got out the shower? I couldn't figure that out. I was like, because she lied so much, I was like, she might have just shown us that she was turning on the shower, and that girl went and put some clothes on and went on back outside with her friends. But they did her in, though, because them is some hard-working twins. I tell you what, they are a bit older, um, but they hard-working, because I'm like, they don't play it. And I see they love, um, like moving gadgets like i like the little jeep thing that they got that i guess they ride around the property on that's pretty nice i like that but i'm like yeah they work hard they be up at the crack of dawn i bet doing some work they work vanessa ass to death she always be talking about she the hardest working woman don't nobody work more than her huh before she was through with being with them and having to um, tie them and them wires together for the chicken coop own girl had to go get a chair and sit down. I was like, uh-huh. You be doing 
frivolous little work that you decide that you want to do and you sit down and chit chat half the day and then you do one little project nothing strenuous these women be humping they be really working I was like uh huh so you the hardest working woman I was like not I'm gonna have to say the twins you get the golden star they are the hardest working women child you just be full of yourself alrighty people let me get to this bank and get my butt up to this town I got about a 45 minute drive to where I'm meeting this lady at and um, she wanted cash and I never carry cash. I'm like, who wants cash nowadays? So I'm going to the ATM to get some cash and then head myself on up there. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful self-discovering Saturday. Learn something new about yourself today. All right, guys. Oh, by the way, we're halfway up to 500. Almost at 450. Thank you, thank you, thank you.